just like a seed has the blueprint to become a tree you have the blueprint to manifest whatever it is that you want in life and achieve all happiness and ecstasy and complete peace and joy what if the seed doubted the universe doubted nature and said i am very comfortable in my shell i am not going to get out of my shell what is the guarantee that i am going to grow into a tree or what if an embryo what if a bird in an egg doubted universe and said i am so comfortable in this shell i am not going to get out of this shell what is the guarantee that i am going to live life to its fullest it is only because this bird accepts universe as it is it breaks out of the shell and then flies into the vast corners of the sky and lives life to its fullest it is only because our minds are so highly developed that we have this ability to doubt nature and universe that what is the guarantee that if we get out of this comfort zone of ours we are going to live life to its fullest we have been trained to believe that if we break out of our shell if we get out of our comfort zone there is going to be a lot of heartbreak there is going to be a lot of rejection and there is sometimes and that is because we all have been conditioned and trained in the mind in a similar way we do not want somebody to grow because we ourselves have stopped us from growing why is there so much of anxiety and depression and sadness and stress in the world because we are not allowing universe to happen within us we are not being authentic we are not being real there is too much of fakeness just one small example for being authentic when you feel like crying cry let it out completely what is happening today and how we are being taught to be is that if you cry then you look weak if you do not want to cry in front of other people at least go into a room and cry but be natural when the tears come let it come men are being taught that crying is a sign of weakness and even women nowadays feel that crying is a sign of weakness this is just one example there are so many more like this we are not being natural we are so fake and so corrupted in our minds today because of all the training and all the conditioning that has happened to our minds since we were children the only difference is that the seed has accepted nature as it is and will grow but human beings do not accept nature as it is and that is why they do not grow they cannot manifest they are in a lower vibration the problem with us is that we doubt the universe so much we do not let the universe happen within us we do not let the universe flow through us just because everybody does not feel ecstasy and happiness every single moment of the day doesn't mean that it is a normal thing to not feel happiness and ecstatic and peaceful every single moment of the day just because stress has become such a widespread phenomenon today it is not all right to think that stress is okay just because everybody is going through it what is needed for us to do is break free from this psychological bondage that we are going through taste pure freedom freedom doesn't mean to do whatever it is that you want to do go wherever you want to go eat whatever you want to eat wear whatever you want to wear this is not real freedom real freedom is breaking free from the shackles and completely getting unchained from psychological bondage only if this happens you move on to the next level which is a spiritual awakening you need to also understand that manifestation belongs to the world of spirituality so unless and until you do not break free from your psychological chains and do not enter the world of spirituality there is no way you are going to understand what manifestation is once you taste real freedom and go through a spiritual awakening let nature happen within you let the universe flow through you then what you deserve what the universe has planned for you is pulled towards you there is no effort needed to manifest anything there is no effort needed to try and attract anything what you deserve everything great everything beautiful will be pulled towards you